Hello everyone. I am myself Dr. Rajesh Gubba. I am the general medicine educator on an academy. So I welcome you all to this particular session of the clinical sign of the day. So before starting the session, let me just give you the updates from an academy. An academy has come up with a very important question bank which exclusively contains the clinical questions and there will be nearly around 25,000 plus high yielding clinical questions in this particular question bank. And an academy is starting with these particular batch courses which will be useful for the students appearing for NEET PG and as well as the FMGE exam. And to those students who want to get subscribed to these batch courses, you can use my code that is MED10 wherein you will get an additional 10% discount on your subscriptions. And these series which are already going on on the platform of an academy wherein this grant test series will be useful for the students appearing for the NEET PG exam. So having said this, let me just discuss the clinical sign of the day. So the question is, what will be the EEG pattern in this disorder, right? So let me just show you the video. Right. So I hope you were able to appreciate that particular abnormality within the shadow. And the options given are three heads spike and wave pattern, four to six heads irregular polyspikes, hips arrhythmias, ten heads spike and wave pattern. So first of all, you should be able to diagnose that particular clinical condition. Then only you will be able to answer this. So what are these? These are nothing but infantile spasms, right? The abnormality, whatever you are seeing there is nothing but infantile spasms. So in infantile spasms, what will be the EEG pattern? The EEG pattern in the infantile spasms will be hips arrhythmias, which we call it as the chaotic patterns. And if you take three head spike and wave pattern, it is seen in absence seizures. Four to six heads irregular polyspikes, they are seen in case of juvenile myoclonic epilepsy. And let me just show you the image of the hip sardinias. So this is the image of the hip sardinias. So this is your normal resting EEG. And this is the EEG of the hip sardinias, right, which contains the chaotic pattern. So that is about your the EEG related to your infantile spasms. Now, the very important question is, what is the drug of choice in infantile spasms? Drug of choice in case of infantile spasms will be ACTH, that is adrenocorticotrophic hormone. This everyone is aware, but what is an extra edge that I will be discussing in this session? What is the mechanism of ACTH? Why and how ACTH helps in infantile spasms? Let me discuss that. So, if you see the mechanism, ACTH reduces the neuronal excitability in infantile spasms by two mechanisms. Number one, by inducing the steroid release, it will reduce the neuronal excitability and by direct steroid independent action on melanocortin receptors. By doing that, then also ACTH can reduce the neuronal excitability. In that way, your ACTH is useful in the treatment of infantile spasms. And again, if this particular infantile spasms, if they are present in patients with tuberous sclerosis, then the drug of choice will be Vigabactrin. So drug of choice in case of epilepsy is a very, very important question. Let me just give you a quick recap of drug of choice in various types of epilepsy. In case of the generalized tonic-clonic seizures, atonic seizures, myoclonic and absent seizures, drug of choice is valproic acid. And in case of febrile seizures during the episode, drug of choice will be intranasal diazepam or rectal, intranasal midazolam or rectal diazepam. And for prophylaxis for febrile seizures, drug of choice is oral diazepam. And absent seizures less than two years, ethosuximide, and more than three to four years, it will be your valproic acid. For infantile spasms, drug of choice is ACTH, that is what I was discussing. Infantile spasms in tuberous sclerosis, it is your Vigabactrin. 
and for status epilepticus drug of choice is lorazepam and for refractory status epilepticus drug of choice will be midazolam so in this session i have just shown you a very important clinical diagnosis of infantile spasms and drug of choices for various types of epilepsy so for more updates please download this unacademy learning app on your app store or play store and if you have liked this particular video please just press the like button and comment on our video and share our video to your friends which will be useful for everyone so thank you very much see you again in the next video